directly from the Alma High School News Studio. Covering news and sports from where it matters. You're watching The Airedale. Welcome to The Airedale. I'm Michael Farrell. And I'm Ben Mitchell. And today we'll be talking about mental health awareness, starting the college process, CTE month, plus much, much more coming up on The, the Airedale. Airedale. In light of recent studies highlighting the increasing rates of mental health issues among high school students, schools across the nation are beginning to place a greater emphasis on mental health awareness and support. But how does this affect us here at Alma High School? Abigail Spencer and Peyton Phillips shined a light on this very important issue. Mental health is a problem that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Many teens deal with some form of mental health problem. In recent years, cases of depression and anxiety have been on the rise in students. We talked to Ms. Reeves, an AHS counselor, on the importance of mental health and why students should take care of theirs. If you're not um, taking breaks from time to time and doing something that you enjoy, then it's easy to get overwhelmed. It's easy to go down into an unhealthy thought cycle that is difficult to come out of. And students are more prone to the negative mental health because they they're only thinking one or two ways might help or they're not even allowing their brain to even go to something that could help. They're just stuck in that negative thought pattern and they don't know how to break it. You are going through a lot of life experiences for the first time. You see adults around you who have already gone through that. They've already experienced the negative life experiences and they know that they're going to be okay on the other side of it. That it may not be what they want, but they will still be here. They'll still be okay. And students haven't done that yet. So it's easy to stay stuck in something that you haven't, um, that you haven't been through on the other side yet. So that's why it's important to talk to an adult who's gone through some experiences like you're going through. Um, you don't have to do it alone, like I said earlier. Um, there are adults all around you who might not be going through the exact same thing that you've gone through, but something similar, and they can tell you what worked for them. They can help you figure out what works for you. Speaking to a trusted adult is a key part of ensuring you are safe. Having an adult to confide in who can sympathize with your issues and give you advice can help teens greatly. Our counselors are able to help students during crisis. This has been Peyton C. Phillips and Abigail R. Spencer signing off. 224 seniors in Alma are looking forward to the next chapter of their lives. One potential next step is college. Applying for college can be a lengthy and complicated process. Hunter Cole and Cole Howard have more on seniors going through the college process. College is a major part of people's lives. College is where you go after high school if you want to do professional sports, get a good job, and more. We spoke to Miss Moore about how to transfer as a high school student into college. College admissions is not a super difficult process, but it's one that has a lot of steps. And it's something that you can't really start until right before your senior year. You have to submit an essay for some colleges, and for others, it could take just five minutes to complete. Um, but every school, every college across the state, the nation, has usually, most of them have an online application that you can complete. Some of them are very short, that take five or six minutes. Some of them are pretty detailed and may take you months to complete the whole process, just depending upon the college. But you'll have to have that application filled out with information about the courses that you've taken, your general address, and a social security number, basic demographic information um, and then also for some colleges they want you to write essays about your plans for the future and again it just depends on where you're going. About 18.2 million students are in college as of 2023 in the United States and about 235 million around the world. You'll also have to have a transcript that is sent to that college or university that will have your grades on it as well as your ACT scores um, and then your shot records. All of that has to go to the colleges as well. And um, then we, we send that through a Google form that the senior class has access to. And then after you've submitted all your documentation, you'll hear back from the school, usually via email. Some of them still send letters uh, to let you know whether you have been accepted or not. You may apply to any colleges you want, but when you get accepted, you have to make your choice. And at that point, um, you, you can apply to as many colleges as you want to. And once you get those acceptances, at some point you have to decide which college you're actually going to go to. 
Only seniors in high school are eligible for this process, but freshmen, sophomores, and juniors can check out what colleges they will want to apply to when they are seniors. Um, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, that doesn't mean you can't be doing anything. The big thing that you need to be doing is looking at the colleges you may be interested in, and that would be seeing what's available, what colleges and places that you may want to go live um, or go to school, but also what degree plans they have because you want to go to a place that has the major that you're wanting, what you're actually wanting to do, and not all colleges have all majors. So that's the big thing for those that are not seniors is to start researching and figuring out what places might be good options for you so that when you're a senior you can start through the process of applications and transcripts. This is Hunter Cole and Cole Howard with Airways Media. The expectations of students are always held high here at Alma High. Now that we're in a new year, those expectations continue. And as Levi Stringfellow and Dane Barker found out, the teachers and administration here at Alma expect students to excel. The expectations of students with the start of the new semester are high and always will be, and we discuss this with our principals. Talking to the teachers, it sounds like the thing that students need to work on the most is their effort, the amount of effort that they're putting in. Parents can, parents, we parents have the skills to say, okay, you know what, we're going to have to put this away for an hour, maybe two hours, and we need to sit here and focus on a few things, we need to get this done, and then we can come back to the things that we want. We talked to Mr. Reeves about his opinion on what makes a student successful. Be where you're supposed to be. So be at school. Show up at school. If you, if you, unless you're running a fever or puking, be here. ACT scores are one of the leading factors that have to do with a student's success. Uh, here lately we focused a lot on ESSA, which is how we get our school letter grade. Um, right now we are B school. Um, we only need a few more points to get to that A, and one of the ways to do that is through the juniors with their ACT score in, fe in February, and then sophomores and freshmen taking ACT Aspire in April. Yeah, parents can definitely help um, having conversations with kids about how they're being prepared in classes for the test, making sure they get uh, a good sleep schedule going making sure they get a good breakfast so that all that food and energy is going to the right places while they're taking the test and mainly um, just talking to them about what the expectations are for everybody. This has been Dane and Levi with Airways Media. As the new year begins, many people are setting their sights on self-improvement and setting new goals for themselves from losing weight and exercising more from, to trying to reduce stress. New Year's resolutions are a great tradition to take part in, but what are the students and faculty here at Alma doing to participate in New Year's resolutions? Caden Despot and Braden Peppis asked what people wanted to improve about themselves. At the end of the year, there's a well-known tradition of making New Year's resolutions or goals for yourself or people close to you. This could range from financial, physical, or even mental goals. Studies show that the most popular resolution are fitness related, but on average only last about a month or two. Today, we wanted to find out what people think about New Year's resolutions in our school. I do. I think it's a time of relaxation and for some it's a readdressing of their values and beliefs and what they want to get accomplished for the rest of the year. Kind of sets the tone. We asked a student of Alma High School. We also took the opportunity to ask them what the resolutions are. Uh, my only one is to get on Miss Brumley's quote wall. I just got to say random things and then I'll get put on the wall. These students of Alma seem to have a pretty good idea on what they want to change in their lives using these resolutions. This is Braden Puppis and Caden Dasbitt with Airwaves Media. Winter coats are an important part of life as we push through these winter months, yet not everyone has access to a warm coat. Declan Sanders and Aiden Mills find out about the winter coat drive going on here in Alma right now. The coat drive is for those that don't have the opportunity to get coats for the cold winter. Ms. Taylor is here to help out those that need coats. So I've always wanted to help people and now that it's winter time I thought that it would be important that we do a coat drive to be able to get coats out to people who need them so that they can stay warm. Ms. Taylor is here to help out those that need coats. They have had over 100 coats donated and will be ending the donating on January 20th. So act fast. 
because those people really need them. Yes, so we've had almost 100 coats donated now, um, and we're still going until January 20th. So if there's any more coats that would like to be donated, we're still taking them. By January 2020, there were about 500,000 cases of people who didn't have the opportunity to get a coat in Arkansas. So it's important to donate because if instead of just throwing away, you can give it to somebody in need who actually needs a coat. Maybe they can't afford one on their own. Um, so sometimes getting that donation out there shows that people can actually um, help out others and not just trash it. This, is, this has been Declan Saunders and Aiden Mills for Airwaves Media for Elma High School. Hey Ben, did you realize that the CTE month is going on right now? Yeah, we have a lot of great CTE programs here at Alma High that are available for uh, students to experience and to celebrate this occasion. We've highlighted all of the CTE programs offered at Alma High School. Technology surround us, sur surrounds us everywhere we go in life and engineering is the base to a lot of the technology that exists today. Michael Farrell takes an in-depth look at the engineering program here at Alma High. Here at Alma High School, we have very in-depth STEM educational opportunities and CTE pathways for our students to learn in this field of study. Ms. Parker has more on why you should join TSA and consider the STEM CTE pathway. CTE is STEM because it focuses on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Those are careers that are currently in need. TSA stands for Technology Student Association. It is a national career tech student organization for students who are wanting to pursue a career in the STEM field. It's really kind of tailored to the students' um, interest in the STEM area. We have several student leaders from TSA here at Alma High School. It's an organization where Students compete in a variety of different fields um, that mostly are related to STEM, but not all of them. At this point, it's more of a family for me. It's more of learning to grow with others and figuring out how to solve problems with others. TSA can actually help lay the groundwork for your future career path. To a career in the science or engineering field, so if they are interested in being an architect, there's a project for them. It also helps you get your face out there for to prepare your future as far as academics. It shows all of your levels of intelligence. It's a huge benefit. I mean, it set me up tremendously for college, uh, and it's helped a lot of people that I know. I hope that this helped convince you that the STEM pathway would be an excellent option to consider a career in, and that the programs here at Alma High School will be a great start to learning about this fascinating field. This has been Michael Farrell with Airways Media, signing out. Computer technology is in a lot of the equipment and devices we use on a daily basis. Ben Mitchell takes a look into why it's extremely important for people to have an understanding of how this technology works and the program offered here at Alma to teach us valuable skill. Computer technology is a big category encompassing many different things that are a part of the daily lives of so many people globally. So why is computer technology important? How does knowing your way around a computer assist you with a career in the future? Mr. Merritt is a computer science and coding teacher here at Alma High. He explains why his class could be a pathway to having a career in this field after high school. It's very beneficial for students to understand how computers work. We live in a, a world full of devices, and these devices are all programmed by other people. And we need, to, we need to understand how those things are programmed, not only to understand like what are other people doing, for example. We all like to click on the, you know, accept all. Right? Well, what are you actually accepting and what are those programs doing? And it helps to understand that. And then it also helps when you know, your phone breaks. I don't understand why my phone is giving me this weird error. Well, maybe if you know a little bit about programming, you'll understand what that weird error means and then you can f fix your own problems. There are so many problems that can be solved with the use of computer technology, but how does this work? So students can benefit uh, several ways from their programming classes, and I would say the one that is cross-cutting against, uh, for all students, is just problem solving. Programming is, it, it's about taking large problems and breaking them down into smaller problems. And then once you get to those smaller problems, they build back up to solve that larger problem. And so, even if you don't necessarily take it on to do something in, in your job field, right? You can take that problem-solving ability to any field that you go. 
Mr. Merritt explains that computer technology can also provide increased security in your life. Like a cybersecurity type class where they learn a little bit about hacking and those types of other IT skills that are not just specific to programming that make you really valuable uh, to the workforce. This was Computer Science and Coding with Mr. Merritt, and this was also Ben Mitchell with Airwaves. Being aware of your financial situation and how to manage your money is an important part of life. Lewis Alexander spoke to Coach Benson about the financial planning program. CTE is something a lot of classes are involved with. Financial planning is one of those classes. We talked to Coach Benson to see what his class is about. The benefits of taking financial planning are uh, there's three things that it'll help you be able to do. Number one, understand money maybe in ways that you've never understood. Number two, it'll give you the opportunity to learn how to budget, how to use your money, tell your money where to go. Number three, we talk a lot about student loans, kind of the government system of student loans. And in talking about that, that's the third part is how to be debt free. Let's see how his class affects students after high school. Financial planning will help students after high school. Uh, it'll help them understand, I use Financial Peace University, and it talks about creating the baby steps to becoming debt free and becoming wealthy. This has been Lewis Alexander with Airwaves Media. Jobs for American Graduates is both a program and a class that helps high school students across America get them ready for a career in the future. Joshua Wagley spoke to the JAG teacher here at Ama High School for more information. Jobs for American Graduates, also called JAG, is a program that we have at Alma High School for students to acquire credits for high school while being employed at a job. But what exactly is JAG? The program's goal is to ensure student graduation and prepare students for workplace success. Whether their career begins immediately upon high school graduation, this includes entry to military service, or requires them to complete post-secondary education or training. AHS JAG teacher Stacy King has more. It's a class that is designed to help students figure out what their next step is after high school by looking at lots and lots of different careers, lots of different options after high school. JAG helps students prepare for a career in the future by providing them with the skills necessary to enter the workforce. JAG helps uh, students with a lot of soft skills and soft skills are those skills that you can take from job to job to job like how to be on time, um, having a good attitude at work, uh, we also go over um, basic resumes and some job interview skills. If you are looking for a helpful class for future career readiness, your junior or senior year, try taking JAG. You don't have to have a job to join it. For Airwaves Media, I'm Joshua Wagley. The transportation of goods across the United States via 18-wheel trucks traveling the roadways is imperative to the economy and sustainability of our society. Stetson Goodson has information about the opportunities Alma High has for students to become certified in transportation and logistics. Transportation and Logistics is a CTE course that focuses on the transportation career. We would join this class because it is a good field to go into and a highly sought after field. The expected employment in the field is going to grow um, in coming years in many aspects. It can be shipping and receiving, it can be packaging, or the actual transportation from rail, trucking. The program offers students the opportunity to train in this field. We teach the information to take and pass the certification exams and they get hands-on training through the internship program. Transportation and Logistics course provides many types of certification. They earn their National Retail Federation certification. They earn their CLA certification which is Certified Logistics Associates and they also have a chance to earn their CLT certification which is a Certified Logistics Technician. This is Stetson Goodson from Our World's Media. Survey of Business is a program designed to introduce students to business and marketing, plus the technology associated with it. Jace Coleman has more on how this course can provide students a pathway to be a successful career in business and marketing. 
Survey Business is an introductory course to the marketing and business that introduces students to schools. Survey of Business is a class required here at the high school for all freshmen. The reason it's required is because it's a base or a core requirement for all business and marketing classes. Uh, so if they're wanting to get their certification um, in Microsoft Office, that would be a great thing to do in this class. We go over Google and uh, Microsoft. Survey Business offers students the opportunity to obtain industry-recognized certifications that are a baseline for the workforce. The Microsoft Office certification, it's an industry standard certification, so it is a standard that, uh, a certification that's recognized by businesses. Some businesses might require the certification so that they know you're qualified to use those programs at their business. Some businesses sometimes uh, give you a little bit higher pay rate if you have a certification. Some businesses, if you don't have the certification, require you to get certified. And it is, a certification usually costs a little over $100 per certification, and so we offer it free here to the students at Alma High School. I am Jace Coleman with Airwaves Media. Business and marketing are an integral part of society. Sarah Nutt takes a look into how DECA helps extensively prepare students for a career in this field. DECA is an organization that teaches students about marketing, business, and entrepreneurship, and it's a lot more fun than that explanation sounds. Let's see what Logan Jackson, the president of Arkansas DECA, has to say on the matter. Um, you're going to need some of these skills that we learn, 21st century skills, like learning to be detail-oriented, to show up on time, to make sure you look presentable to people, stuff like that. Like, I just find that those are really important, and that's like all, what we're all about. Traveling is one of the main aspects of the program. DECA travels to compete in business and marketing competitions, and students can pick from many categories to compete in. Brant Pepys, the Vice President of Finance, explains how DECA competitions have helped him find his future career. Well, it's helped me actually find what I want to do in life through my business operations research event, and I've been able to realize that I want to become a market analyst, and so I can just keep creating plans like I am doing right now in DECA. As you can see, DECA is an organization that provides great advice on business and great experiences during competitions. I'm Sarah Nutt with Airwaves Media. Airwaves Media is a name many in our school recognize, but what is this program all about? Zach Miller has a behind the scenes look at the organization you're watching right now. Airways Media is a program that offers students a lot of opportunities to extend their skills and prepare themselves for their future in broadcasting and video production. Airways Media is the name associated with our classroom offered, which includes Intro to Communication, Digital Cinema 1 and 2, plus Production Management. There is a wide variety of jobs that you can learn and is what makes it broadcasting all come together. There are so many things that bring together a television production like effective communication, teamwork, and understanding. Uh, going out and shooting news stories and learning how to edit, learning how to produce things, to doing live production, live production of sports events, live production of choir, dance, all these different things add up to a lot of cumulative experience for each one of the students. I'm Zachary Miller from Airways Media. Knowing how to cook, sew, and understand how to do the basics to uh, having a healthy life and imperative for everyone to learn. Gemini Shong finds out about the Family and Consumer Science Program here at Alma High. Family Consumer Science offers opportunities for high school students based on their career choices and learning needs to help them in the future. It's a class that involves how Family and Consumer Science teaches the basic means of sewing, learning on child development, and understanding and analyzing their food choices. But I want to know more about the topics. Here's Ms. Blackwell for more on what the classes are and how it helps. And in my Family and Consumer Science class, we do several things. Uh, it has an emphasis on sewing, so we do a lot of sewing in there, uh, hand sewing, we sew with machines, we do a lot of community service activities where we make things for uh, different organizations in the community. Uh, the benefits of taking one of my family and consumer science classes, obviously in the foods class you're going to learn uh, about nutrition and how to cook foods. Uh, you're going to learn things that could benefit you later on uh, when you go off to college or when you get your own apartment and you have to cook or plan a meal. 
I believe that family and consumer science is a good class to be in. You can learn about the simple ways by knowing how to evaluate your food choices, learn about the ways of children and parenting, and find techniques on how to sew. If you're interested in learning and knowing the basics of any of the topics, I recommend taking the family and consumer science classes. This is Gemini Shang from Airways Media. The cattle, hog, and poultry industries are booming here in Arkansas. Evan Sanderson looked into the agriculture program here at Alma and how the need for students to learn the ins and outs of this industry are very important to sustaining life in the modern world. Agriculture is an important part of many Alma high school students' lifestyles. This makes it an educational program to prepare students for the workforce. Yet, many people probably wouldn't realize that it is considered a career technical education program. But what makes agriculture a CTE program? Lincoln Brownlee said that the agriculture education program is a good way to introduce students to the different forms of agriculture. But it also offers an FFA and work-based learning components of agricultural education. Essentially, a student in our program can enter any career when um, they graduate high school. The goal of CTE programs and even ag ed programs is just to prepare them to be successful in a career and if they were to choose and, or if they were to go to college when they graduate. So we teach them those soft skills that every employer needs and then from there um, we also they also have the opportunity to learn those agricultural based career hard skills in our judging competitions and our competitive events that we do in the spring where they practice for and then they go to competition and compete so a student can essentially be prepared for any career with the soft skills they're going to learn in our program um, because nowadays we know that's what employers are asking for and looking for anyways but also they come out with um, veterinary medicine concepts that they may have not known otherwise, or um, concepts such as wildlife being a game warden because they had the opportunity to learn about wildlife in our program. And soon in our program they'll have the opportunity to learn about welding and woodworking and mechanics with the new facilities that are being built and our students will be able to graduate with those skills to go be an apprentice under someone um, like a mechanic or an electrician or a welder. And so all, really our students could go into any job when they graduated with the scoff skills they've learned but they also have those hard skills in their pocket if they choose to go into the agriculture culture field when they graduate. A little more on FFA. FFA gives them a chance to compete in leadership events and other events where they have to stay focused, composed of material and skills that they would need to know for a career path they go down. The cool thing about agriculture is that it gives students a chance to do things outside the classroom, which continues to benefit them when they are outside of school and this teaches skills that are helpful when working in an everyday job. It teaches them how to interact with others, how to communicate, how to show up on time. I'm Evan Sanderson for Airwaves Media. The Navy Junior Reserves Officer Training Corps is a class that helps prepare students for a career by instilling good values and discipline in the cadets within the program. Evan Shibley took a look into the NJ ROTC unit here in Alma. If you'd like to get a health, PE, and CTE credit all in one program, then look no further than NJROTC. JROTC cadets learn all about self-discipline by breaking up in the program while also learning about outstanding leadership by becoming squad leaders and eventually platoon commanders. Cadets are also taught how to dress sharply by putting together a military-style uniform and are inspected on those uniforms once a week on Wednesday. NJROTC also promotes healthy lifestyles and physical fitness. Because of this, cadets participate in physical training or PT twice a week on Monday and Friday. The program also has many extra teams such as drill, marksmanship, drone, and orienteering. NJROTC is a great program to get into mainly because of the three main values that they have of honor, if a student has aspirations of becoming a teacher, then they should consider joining the Intro to Education class. The program teaches students what it takes to begin, what it takes to become a teacher, and begins molding them into future educators. Destiny Wheeler has more. There are many CTE programs including teaching and education. The teaching and education program teaches students academical and technical skills. 
as well as knowledge and training necessary to succeed in future careers and to become lifelong learners. But why should students take this course? I mean, what makes Intro to Education an important class? Here's Ms. Strickland here to tell us. Our CTE program is designed for students who want to become educators. So if they're thinking about going into the field of education or a related field, then this is the ideal course of study for students to take. It's the future of education. We have a need for good, hardworking teachers, people who are passionate about education, and this class will help students determine if they want to become an educator or not, and it helps them learn the skills that they will need in the field of education. How can this class be beneficial to students in the future? They can gain many important skills that they'll need for any job, even if they don't go into education. We do a variety of things from learning how to put together a resume, job interview skills, working together on different team projects, just a variety of things that are helpful for any endeavor in the future. I am Destiny Wheeler with Airwaves Media. Thanks for watching this episode of The Airedale. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to follow all of our social medias at Airwaves Media. And as always, Go, Go Airedales! Airedales.